As the new English Premier League football season gets underway, a number of teams are embracing wearable technology to help give them an edge over opponents. West Bromwich Albion, nicknames the Baggies, are one of such teams using the technology in a bit to better their game. I'd work it open, big chest in the way. They recorded their joint second best finish in the Premier League era when they came 10th last season. The squad uses Catapult Sports Optim I S5 system, which has a dozen individual sensors embedded in the player's training top. This typically collects up to 1,000 data points per second in real time to monitor player performance and fitness. And this time, crossover Scott, get your feet moving. The players wear one of these vests, uh, vests for all training activities. Um, and then embedded within the bottom of there, there'll be a heart rate strap, which gives us a continual heart rate for each player. And then in the back there, there's a little pocket which the unit sits in. Inside that unit, there is an accelerometer, a GPS unit, um, a magnetometer and a gyroscope. So altogether we get lots of different training information about that player's movements for those training sessions, be that the distances that they cover, the speeds that they reach, the number of changes of direction, accelerations and decelerations. Overall a real nice picture of the player's load for that training session. The system tracks players' movements with pinpoint accuracy using local positioning system, which unlike global which, unlike global satellite position and GPS, uses pre-installed stadium infrastructure. This receiver is linked to the player's on-body sensors, with the data fed back to the coaching staff in real time. We have the laptop and the receiver out live during the session. So what that means is as the players are, are training, as they're moving around, that information is coming back to us live at that time. So we get um, numbers which then relate to a player's activity for that session. And that allows us to have discussions in real time with coaches in terms of how the session might be progressing. Is it as we planned? Um, if, if not, do we need to maybe stay out for a little bit longer and add more training load to the players? Or do we need to maybe um, tailor the session and, and look to cut it shorter than planned on paper? So it really brings that session plan that we had um, prospectively ahead of the session to life really and allows us to make real-time decisions. With a margin for error between teams in English football's top flight often very slim, performance analytics are bringing a new dimension to tactics and are being embraced even by the most traditional football managers. Okay, where you are, just kick it across, swing it out the other way. Any manager now working in the Premier League at the top of their game has to understand that this information is there and they have to be um, open and available to take that information. They can then digest it and use it as they perceive uh, uh, that is in their best interest really. It might inform some decisions, some decisions they might make off the back of choosing not to take that information on board. But I think um, very few managers in this day and age would choose to completely disregard it because obviously it's going to bring something objective to the table which can help inform decisions. In addition to helping teams with their gameplay, the system helps identify an individual player's risk of injury and can assist with rehabilitation. While the system is currently only used during training, Green sees the future versions of the device unobtrusive enough to be embedded in a matchday uniform, giving coaching staff in-game analysis of player performance. It, it's a complete norm for players to wear this in training. I think as the unit evolves, um, you'll see it become the complete norm for them to wear it in matches as well, which at the minute is um, some clubs would do that, but it's not uh, Premier League wide. Um, and I think then that evolution will probably mean that the data is, um, is then available to coaches and to support staff during fixtures to, to then inform some match day decisions really um, on player readiness and, and how fatigue might be occurring during the game. The elite catapult system is used by other Premier League football teams including Chelsea, West Ham and Tottenham Hotspur. However, they recently launched a consumer version called Player Tech for amateur competitive footballers to track and compare their performance with friends and teammates.